You are watching or listening to the Good Morning Gwinnett Show, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney, bringing you your daily dose of business and technology to educate, empower, and inspire small business owners. Be sure to subscribe to the show today. Good morning, good morning, good morning, all my Gwinnettians out there in Gwinnettland, all of my friends around the world. It's a rainy day here in Georgia. It is raining, it is pouring down, it is getting it in. I think we're supposed to have a rainy day for the rest of this week, so nothing you can do about that. That is what it is. Hope you guys are having a wonderful start to your day. How about Kansas City, though, baby? How about Kansas City? Did y'all see, did y'all see the Super Bowl yesterday? I saw the Super Bowl and I was like so excited, you know, but I got to I got to tell y'all, I can't front right out the beginning. I'm like, oh, my God, they're going to lose because they, they were making too many errors. So I'm sitting up there on the edge of, on the edge of my seat on every play. But when when they didn't make when when San Francisco did not make a touchdown, I was like, yeah, it's over. It was a wrap after that. So I was like, it's over. And I was you know, I'm so happy for Patrick. Like, I don't know anybody too much on like San Francisco team. So I watch Kansas City. Like I got my favorite teams, right? Of course, I'm a I'm a Falcons fan because I'm here in Georgia. But I also watch I like K, uh, uh, um, Kansas City. That, those are my favorite football teams. My husband is a Pittsburgh fan because we know we're from Jersey. And then when it comes to basketball, I'm a Golden State fan. So I got my teams, and that's what I normally watch. Even though I missed Golden State the other night. He was like, "You missed a good one." I was like, "Oh, where was I?" He was like, "He was on the phone." <laughs> so I was on the phone. But anyway, guys, I'm so happy to be here with you today. Before we get started, I want to tell y'all something. So y'all know I'm a straight up AI technology gadget junkie. I am. I'm a gadget. Like every year for Christmas and my birthday is next week, right? My husband, like, what you want? I want to say so bad. I want some other kind of gadget. But he told me last for Christmas, I'm not buying any gadgets. So I, I got a bunch of shoes. Even though I like shoes. Don't get it wrong. I like shoes. But I like gadgets. So listen. For Christmas, I snuck and bought myself on my own gadget, right? So let me show y'all real quick what I bought. He doesn't even know I got it. So this is what I bought, y'all. I bought a robot. I bought me. This is my robot, not the baby's robot. This is my robot. And so, because I'm a gadget junkie, so the robot actually talks, right? So I'm going to pro program the robot to tell it what I wanted to say on, when, on episodes of the show. That's my robot. So I'm going to program the robot to say things that I wanted to say on a couple of episodes on the show on Thursdays, right? So what I decided to do was every month, I'm going to give away an attacker. This That's what the robot is called. I'm going to give away an attacker every single month to people who join my newsletter. So if you join the newsletter, go to Good Morning Gwinnett and click on G, uh, Gwinnett 411, click on that, join the newsletter every month. I'm going to randomly pick somebody, no matter where you are in the world, and I'm going to send you an attacker because I need y'all to be up to speed with what we're doing here. So I'm not going to keep talking. Go to goodmorninggwinnett.com. Matter of fact, let me put the, put the banner up there so you know where to go. Go to the website. Go to the website. Sign up for the newsletter, and every month I'm going to randomly pick somebody, and I'm going to send you an attacker. Why? Because I think we all need to understand AI. I'm a, I understand it, and my guest today is going to tell you more about it, especially if you are a business owner. You need to know what he knows. So we need to get started with this show. So without further ado, my guest today is Mr. Nehemiah Thompson. He's the co-founder of Start Lean Finish Big, which I was like, that sounds good to me. Start Lean Finish Big. He's also a consultant, a management consultant. His firm is doing some amazing things to help small business owners scale their business. Let me tell you all something. You may not even understand what that word means. After this episode today, you will understand what it means. And not, check this out. I was, I, you know, I had to do my little research. He said, I can show you how to do that even when you don't have a big budget. I'm like, really? Like, I'm watching all the videos. I'm like, what? Because I talk to a lot of small business owner, um, owners who don't have a budget to scale. They would like to scale to seven figures so they can kind of relax just a little bit. But they really don't have budgets to scale like that. You know, I am the president of the Gwinnett Women's Chamber of Commerce. And most of our entrepreneurs in there are solopreneurs. And they want to grow their business. They want to scale, but they don't know how. So. I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to bring my guests to the stage. So stay tuned. You, I'm, I'm sure you're going to be in for a good show. So stay tuned. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you for being here. Listen, so who'd you, who'd you have in the Super Bowl? See, I was going for San Fran because, oh. you know, going for the underdog. But I knew Mahone and then we're going to pull it off. And I, and I say that. 
you know, with the utmost respect to them, but it's like watching the old San Antonio Spurs with David Robinson, just too fundamental. It's just boring to watch KC to me, but <laughs> but I wanted a little change up. I want to say a friend to win, you know, that whole thing, but I knew the outcome. Well, here's the thing, though. They were favored to win by two points. Exactly. Oh, San Fran? Yes, they were favored to win by two points. Man, the way and that they, they were... lost by three. Hi, exactly. Hello. Hello. I think I, I really think if they would have made that extra point, that would have that would have changed the tie just a little. Just 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 moved it a little. If they would have made that one extra point after they scored, but they got blocked, that would have that would have done something, you know, towards the end of that. So But you know what's crazy is right out the gate when when um um what's his name? Oh god, Pacheco fumbled. I, uh-huh, I uh-huh. fall out on, on and, and exactly and on the goal. Um I just want to pass out. I'm like, oh my God, they're gonna lose. This is this is the very first quarter, y'all. Like I'm over <laughs> here like oh my God. And, and if they had lost, I know him going home would have been like the craziest, saddest trip ever because exactly that was a that was a game defining moment and he he fumbled the ball. But anyway, exactly. they pulled it off. My homes pulled, pulled it, it off. off. <laughs> I'm happy for him. I'm happy for him. So listen, Absolutely. thank you so much for being my guest this morning. I am just super excited about you know talking to you. And uh, I gotta thank Alicia. Alicia is amazing, y'all. I gotta get her. Now listen, she was supposed to come on the show. She sent me all of these people, like, you need to talk to this one, this one, this one. So I got all of these people on referral <laughs> that's gonna be on this show. So be sure to subscribe to the show so you don't miss any of them. Some great minds when it comes to AI and scaling your business and just doing an amazing thing in your space. So thank you so much. So I know your background is powerful. So tell the people a little bit about who you are before we jump into like how to get to six and seven figures because i know that's what y'all really want to know right 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 you know um my name is nehemiah thompson i am the ceo of start lean finish big and we help people with lean startups scale faster in their business and that could be through ai automations that could be through workflow automations that can be through a number of things that we have prescribed for our members in order for them to scale their business and so because i have a background in management consulting i've been working for enterprise uh, clients for so many years as a consultant um, mostly in the tech space and so i've seen large mergers and acquisitions I've done uh, big developments. I've done rollouts. I've done all those types of things from an enterprise standpoint. And what I'm trying to do and what I've done with Start Lean Finish Big is bring that type of energy and that type of stuff that I see from enterprise clients, bringing it down to scale for the small business owner and showing them how they can grow fast and finish big. You know, Nehemiah, I got to say this. I think I think when you even think about that, a lot of times it comes with a mind a mind shift, too. Right. Because yeah. we have a um, we have a, a a mentor for the women of the Gwinnett Women's yeah. Chamber of Commerce and her business. She has four business. They're doing like 40 million a year. Mm-hmm, so for mm-hmm. like a year, she was mentoring like the women. And I'm yeah. telling you, we have a, a nice size membership and the women wouldn't even come. And I'm mm. thinking, why wouldn't you come to listen to her talk about how to scale a business? So I think yeah. the first step is figuring out like how do I change my mindset to understand right. what that is. So um in your in your before you got to to start lean finish big, what mm-hmm. were some of the things, what were some of the companies you worked for and like what do those companies do? Yeah. So I've I've got to be on great campaigns like the Wanna Get Away campaign with Southwest Airlines. Um I was with um uh ATT um and did their mergers and acquisitions while they were acquiring more telecom companies. Um, mm-hmm. I've also got to work with brands like Nike. I've got to work with brands like um, McDonald's Corporation, major large corporations, um, and some hospitals uh, that have uh, bought other hospital chains and things like that. So a number of uh, companies, even Hilton, um, we've developed. I was part of a team that developed the very app that everyone's using to unlock the doors mm-hmm. uh, to your rooms. So when you're now, you could just book and and skip the front, you know, the front desk and go directly to your room and just hold your phone up to the room and you can just unlock the door. That was the team that I was on that developed that. And then we've added the application to where we can share that key to someone else and they can come to the room. So we've done, I've done fun, large uh, technology type projects. And um, when AI got introduced, oh, that was a game changer. That was a serious game changer. Even for the small business folks, it's such a game changer that I want to talk about today with you guys 
Well, thank you so much for that. You know, I think, um, I think again, AI too, like I, so it's so crazy because I've been doing Good Morning Gwinnett for almost six years now. Mm. And I developed a, um, an Alexa skill for her, for her. I developed Alexa skill for the show back, I think in like 2015, mm -hmm. 16 or somewhere back there. Right. Mm -hmm. Didn't know that I was developing AI at that time, exactly. developing yeah. using AI. Just think, okay, I'm going to develop this, this app. So this uh, skill, mm -hmm. so you can listen to it on your Amazon Alexa uh -huh. or your echo speakers or whatever it was your smart speakers in your home not even understanding like the magnitude of what that but i've always been like i'm like a, i'm not always an early adopter for everything yeah. yeah um and by the time people catch up i'm burned out like okay now i gotta uh, jump on this other thing but i'm not gonna do that this time <laughs> exactly ai is here that. to stay it's not yeah. going anywhere it's only going to advance um and the thing is is for the small business owner it's the most powerful Thing that you can have that's part of your arsenal while growing your business and trying to scale your business. You just got to know how to use it. Yeah. You know, we had a, we have a young lady, she's our tech committee chair. She, she's doing a workshop this coming um, Friday, as a matter of fact, showing mm -hmm. people how to just leverage Google, the Google workspace with all the stuff that they got going on. We're exactly. not going to even get started with like Gemini. Like I'm just, exactly. oh my God, Gemini is just out off the change. Like I was in lower chat GPT. I looked at chat Gemini the other day and I'm like, that's amazing. So right. anyway, I got this. You got this will on your website that I love. And I was like, you know what? We're going to go through this will because I think this is a good place to, you know, ask some questions because there are a lot of people that are going to be watching this. Just right now, we're streaming all over the place. Gotcha. Oh, crap. I forgot to screen the, to LinkedIn. I mean, not LinkedIn, Instagram, but that's OK. I'll fix that later. So I'm going to go. We're going to do a, I'm going to go in present mode because I want to talk about this will that you got on your website. OK. All right. Let's get it. Wait a minute, where is it? Oh, and let me get to it too, so I can make sure I'm I'm in the same thing you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> let me let me go back over there. All right. One second. He has some really great information on his website, and um, I wanted to I wanted you guys to see this because I when I saw this, I was like, that's amazing. Um, but I want him to kind of break it down for us. So I'm gonna pull it up on the um right inside of our, our um. I'll talk this morning. All right, let's go. Here we go. Ah, there we go. Okay, that's what we're talking about. Okay, All right, cool. that's what we're talking about. So I want to talk about this wheel right here because I looked at this and I was like, this is amazing. It looks like an amazing framework, but mm -hmm. I want to break it down so people can understand like what it is and yeah. how they can, you know, what they need to do to start. I know one of the things I that stood out for me was, you know, you don't have to have a big budget to do this thing. So no, I'm going to let you talk all. about the will and then we're going to talk about what does that what does it actually look like for the small business owner? Absolutely. The main thing is, is with with service professionals or people that are providing a service uh, to someone, you're taking them through an A to B process. Where are they at right now? What stage are they at right now? And where do you want them to end? What is the transformation that they're going to actually experience? So for most businesses, they need to have a framework, something that they have like marching orders to get to the end result. So when you're guiding your client through this process, they know what what step they're on, where where to identify themselves as their blockers, their gaps. And each one of these steps that we've defined as nine clear steps in order to get to your end goal. So step one, for instance, is part of the proposition foundation, right? The foundation is who am I talking to, right? So we call it the proposition powerhouse. Who am I talking to? Who am I selling to? Why am I doing this? Who? What is my target audience? And most people don't start off by identifying who they're speaking to. And it is so important. One of the most pivotal steps that you know that your marketing message, your selling message, your words are acting like you're talking to them. Have you ever had someone that, um, that if, if you know their behaviors, right, how they act, what they want, how they shop, how they think, how they do. And if you can target that person because you know their behaviors so well, you'll be in, you'll get their inbox messaging you all the time because they're going to feel like you're talking to me. Oh my God, he's talking to me. He must know who I am, right? And so that's why that proposition powerhouse is so powerful. And then you need to analyze who your avatar is, right? Who is your target 
target audience and your ideal customer? Who do you want to serve? Who do you want to create transformation with in your business? And then you have uh, our next step is called converter creator, right? Create a high impact offer that targets them. Right. And I'm going to take a breath there because what I want you to think is when you go down the aisle of a um, of the store and you pulling off a, a box, let's just say a box of cereal, what makes you buy that box of cereal over the other one? Is it the ingredients? Is it the colors on the box? Is it the branding? Whatever that is, they make a buying decision on that box in less than 15, 20 seconds. So how can you make such a compelling offer to that end user that converts them every single time that they feel like you're talking to me? This is what I want. This is what I came to the store to get. How do you make an offer so enticing that they feel that you're talking to them? Right. And then the next one is your delivery. How is your delivery? How does it look? Just like we came here is when someone comes to my program or joins my program, they know my framework. They understand what they're getting into and what they'll end out with. I mean, end up with, right? So their delivery dynamo. How is your design, your look, your feel, your system, your framework? Is it all connected in a way that they know every step of the way that they're going to experience with you? Then how do you package it all up? right? And establish a pricing model that's effective, that um, can speak to different audiences at different levels. Because the, the ultimate goal is you might get them into a low ticket offer just to get indoctrinated into your world, to understand you, to like you. But then as they become your customer, they're going to be your biggest uh, advocates for your brand. If you deliver something compelling and good, they're going to want to ascend to all your other products, right? And all your other pricing offers that you do, because you did such a great job on one part of your business for them, right? Mm -hmm. And those are the people you want to hold on to. Those are the people that you want to send through all your pricing to where you don't have to focus on getting a hundred new customers every month, but you can focus on the 2000 or so customers that you change and they are sending through every product and everything that you offer and everything that you come up with. Okay. Then next, next is no, how do you tackle them from, a, I call it the marketing maverick, develop a strategic sales and marketing plan. And all of this can be done using the power of AI. And this is something that used to take months to do with someone. Now it takes mere hours to do this with a customer because of the power of AI. Then how are you going to onboard them? How are their customer experiences going to be with you? How do you support them? Are you just going to convert them as a customer and then don't give them the compelling customer service and support that they need? And that's where a lot of people uh, fail is not giving the proper uh, support that they need once they become a customer. So that's why we have the onboarding Oracle, because we set up that whole system for you to onboard your customers the right way so they feel welcome into your program or product. And then you need to have what is called a feedback loop or what we call the feedback finesse. You need social proof, right? You're only as good as someone else saying that you're good at what you're doing, right? A lot of times. So you can be the best at something, but you can be a hermit and nobody knows that you're the greatest uh, uh, person at whatever craft that you're doing. But if you had someone that actually gave you social proof that actually went on and recorded a video or gave you a testimonial and said, you know what, this person did this action for me and you keep creating this social loop or what we call the feedback finesse, you get that finesse every time you do a good business, then you send them something and they get rewarded for recording a video for you or leaving a testimonial and you need that loop in a part of your business. And then the last step is the optimization over overdrive. This is where you scale, right? How do you optimize your systems, your workflows, your everything to where you can scale? So you're not wearing 20 or 30 hats in your business, but you're only wearing a few hats because you were using the power of AI to automate your business. So we call this whole thing our Start Lean Finish Big framework. And we have the proposition foundation, your strategic systems, and you continuous optimization with Start Lean Finish Big. Look, guys, I wanted you to see this because I saw this and I thought this was amazing. So I want to I want to talk about uh, step number two first. Right. Yes. Because I remember I remember when I started Good Morning Gwinnett, I couldn't figure out who the heck I was talking to. Yeah. I was like, I don't know who I'm talking to. I have a hyper local. It was just a podcast. So I had a mm -hmm. hyper local 
Hope podcast talking about Gwinnett County, which is where I live. I'm like, I don't know who I'm talking to. Mm-hmm, so I remember mm-hmm. talking to Pat Flynn. So Pat Flynn is big in the in the podcast Love Pat space. Yep. And I was like, I don't know what my niche is. He's like, Gwinnett is your niche. I'm like, really? I struggled with that for like mm. years. Even after he said that to me, yeah. I still cannot figure that part out. Yeah. And so there are a lot of people who don't even know that they are already, they already know who their niche is because they, that's who they like working with. Like I'll give you a prime example. Mm-hmm. Coaches, right? Yep. They may only want to coach with, you know, just single parents. Mm-hmm. And that's who they talk to all the time, but they not they have not identified that because they right. talk to them. That's who gravitate towards them. And I can tell you this, my clients, the ones that gravitate towards me are 50 and above. Which exactly. is the craziest part, and I'm very techy. So when mm-hmm. I see them coming, and I and none of them are techy, not one right. of them. Right. So you know, talk about the avatar because I think a lot of people get lost on that. Someone yeah. told me right one time, or do you, your avatar is a person you want to work with? Not mm-hmm. you don't have to go mm-hmm. searching for them. It's who you want to work with. And that right. I was like, really? Because for years I was looking for that person. So right. let's talk about the avatar analyzer. How do you I, help them identify that that person? Yeah. Absolutely. We, we, we do several steps. And one of the things we do is what is called a SWOT analysis, your strength, weaknesses, opportunities. And then I, I, I change it up and, um, and uh, change it to technical, right? Mm -hmm. Your technical skills, uh, still uh, skills when it comes to that. But when it comes to defining your target audience, you have to know what is their age range? What do they do for a living? How do they shop? What type of device do they use? Are they a web person? Or are they always on their phone? Um, are they frequent shoppers? And what it is, is you need to know how to put your marketing and your and your being who you are in front of that person. And when you're talking, your storytelling, your messaging, your words should make them feel like, hey, I deserve to work with you, right? And it's called limbic messaging You, you uh, a lot of the times where the right messaging and the words that you say to that person, they feel that, wow, that person is talking to me. Now, if your marketing and your advertising is all over the place or you don't make that person feel like you're talking to them directly, then that's where you're just spending money on Facebook ads and all these types of things and you're not speaking to your target audience. And that's why it's so important to uh, define your target audience and your ideal customer. Who would you want to work with every day? Is that is that someone that's a C-suite corporate person or is that the individual mom and pop uh, store that doesn't know how to do tech stuff? Or is it that the startup company who is just trying to get their, their feet wet but they don't know how to handle their operation. All those things need to be clearly defined so you know exactly this is the audience. And then it lets you weed out people that you don't want to work with. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, it's like we want to see if we're a good fit for each other. Because if you're going to give me a whole bunch of challenges, about your problems, you're, you're, you're inconsistent, you're all of those types of things, it's going to be more problems dealing with you than it is me working with my ideal customer and my target audience. Yeah, that is so true. When I tell you that's so true, I remember coaching. This was a long time ago. So I um I'm gonna so I invented the first plus size fashion dolls, right? Mm-hmm. And then after I after we dissolved the company, we started in 1999. We dissolved the company in 2005. I decided I was going to be a coach after spending some time at Rutgers Small Business Development Center as a consultant. Yeah. So I brought on a client. She wanted to. She had a a product idea for this bear. Right. Right. We give right. her all these assignments, Nehemiah, and mm-hmm. she wouldn't do any of them. So finally she came back to me and she said, yeah, my mother. Now, she was a grown woman in her 30s. She said, my mother mm-hmm. said she don't think I should start the business because the bear looks evil because it's purple. Right. <laughs> all I said was, OK, because right. at that point she was already stressing me out because, mm-hmm. you know, when you know how when you've gone through something, right. and you know, people are giving you excuses like I can't help you. So you're wasting your money and my time. And that may exactly. sound a little crass, but mm-hmm. it's the truth. And so when you feel like you can't help people, it's like I don't I don't want to deal with this. So finding out who your avatar is and, and work with that person is so important. Yeah. Now, I want to talk about AI because that's why we, we're here. We're talking about AI. Yeah. What mm-hmm. are some tools? How can people get started? Because you somebody may be looking at this going, because I know people, mm-hmm. yeah, man, mm-hmm. I would really love to work with him, but I bet he's expensive. I already mm-hmm. know that's what they're saying because, <laughs> because I've had people say that to me on, on so many occasions. Uh-huh. People have anyway, th- never mind that part. 
what can people do right now? Because they're looking at this, they, they're not tech savvy, right? Uh-huh. They think AI is going to steal our children, you know, um, because they think it's evil, but they right. have businesses that they're trying to run and grow and scale. So what right. are some of the things they can do right now? Right. One of the most, the most powerful tools, if you're not on this yet, and we, we all heard it, the buzzword about AI is chat GTP. When I say that that was so revolutionary for me, Mm-hmm. And because of the problem, and, and I'll confess, I'll be vulnerable at this moment, where I stunk at is crafting copy. I completely mm-hmm. was horrible at being able to say the words that I was wanting to say and express and then putting in contextual writing and make it sound good and things like that. I had the hardest time doing that and it will take me months. And then I would procrastinate because I'm a perfectionist at the same time. Um, And so I would take all the time in the world just to try to craft the right message. And then I would try to get with my friends and be like, Hey, can you, proofread this? Can you reread this for me? And does it sound good? Does it sound compelling? Does it sound like it's going to the right people? When chat GTP came to the floor, to the game, and I was like being able to talk to chat GTP and say, hey, look, I'm trying to craft this message. This is what I'm trying to say, but hey, can you help me tailor this a little better? And when that happened, I fell in love. My life got altered with chat GTP. And mind you, I've been doing AI for years, but chat GTP was one of the best tools that you can start off with and be able to craft your marketing message, your consistent messaging for your brand, your target audience. All those things can be done right here with ChatGTP and as she's showing it right here. Yeah, I wanted them to see, like, for some people, yeah. they, they haven't heard of it. Some of them have heard of it. Listen, I use ChatGPT every single day. If you look yes. up to the left-hand corner right there, uh-huh. those GPTs are my GPTs that I've developed. Oh, I, I think it. I have eight at this point. So it is such a powerful platform. And, and we and listen, all this, all of this technology is getting smarter and smarter and smarter. Yeah. I saw something last night where Sam Altman is trying to do something that's going to cost $7 trillion mm. in this space. I'm like, what is he doing? So it's not going anywhere. No, we, look, we see so much money being poured into this. But here's the thing. You may not understand that part, but understand this part. What Nehemiah is saying is use this, this tool. Now, what's crazy about ChatGBT is you can use it pretty much for free. Mm-hmm. Now, yeah. I do a lot of stuff. So I have the, the paid version. But for you just starting out, you just want to go check it out. You can yeah. use it for free. Yeah. And it, it offers so much. Yeah. And the next one that I would recommend um, is Gamma App. That's G-A-M-M-A dot app. So I'll let her type that in. Gamma app, such a powerful tool. Now, if you've been struggling on when someone say, hey, can you send me a presentation? Hey, can you send me a deck on that? If the term deck is like um, like a few pages to kind of explain your business and things like that. Hey, can you um, show me um, your pricing model or anything like that? And you don't necessarily have a website. The beauty of gamma.app, that's G-A-M-M-A dot app, is that you can create a PowerPoint presentation, a deck that's a living, breathing deck that's online. You can send them a link to it and it uses the power of AI to make a beautiful crafted PowerPoint presentation presentation in seconds, not hours, not days while you're trying to put your words and thoughts. You're using the power of AI to collectively put your train of thought in a PowerPoint presentation that takes you less than 30 minutes to tweak it to your, your heart's desire. So the beauty of this thing is not only will it create a web page, it'll create uh, a deck and all these beautiful things to wear and you can change the color. So when I'm doing a presentation, I just pull my my template up, my deck, and I show them um, my PowerPoint presentation. They say, hey, can you send me this? One click, I'm sending them this link and they have it right then and there. And if I want to change it, I'm changing it on the spot. You know, so everything is just beautifully done when you're putting your presentation and you're you're showing your offer using gamma.ai. You know, I use so many tools. I said to my, I said to somebody recently, I'm going to have to use rocket money so I can Uh go back and find out exactly how many subscriptions I have because I have so many, I use so many different tools, video tools, 
a chat BTT, GPT. I got a, a YouTube uh, tool that I use. Like all of these shows are streamed live to YouTube, right? Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. then I go back later on and take the transcript. Now, you go to YouTube and just get the transcript. It looks horrible. It's right. just like a bunch of numbers and everything's uh -huh. broken up. It's like, oh my God. But mm -hmm. there's a tool that I use that will go back, take this episode and summarize it into a beautiful art article oh, yeah. with subheadings and everything so i don't even have to even think about what we just talked about i just go right. back and use the tool and pull it up so so many tools out there to save you time um and i would give you two on top yeah. of that the mm -hmm. what you just said is because what people get stuck on is why they're not putting themselves out there is they're thinking about what do i put in the descriptions what do i put in the the, uh, the bullets what am i talking about there are tools just like she described that do that in seconds they take that information they can create a blog article they can make an audio version of it they can chop it up and make it all um like it's TikTok ready there's a tool called castmagic.io. That's the one I use. Yep. Uh, Cast Magic is a beast and it turns your audio into like live like content. And a lot of people are using it. Yeah. It creates the titles, the hooks, the headlines, everything like that. And it does it in mere seconds. Cast Magic is a, a beast. Now, if you're a YouTuber, I would suggest something called VidIQ. And VidIQ is also, it keeps you like, what are people talking about on the internet? What are they doing? Uh, what's the new headline that's going to make the, the algorithm come to me and come to my page? And VidIQ just like presents all that data and information to know, are we talking about Cat Williams this week? Or, or wait, are we on Monique now? Who are we talking about? You know, yeah. and it keeps you abreast on what the world is talking about so you can be front and center right then and there if you're a YouTuber and having those daily ideas just spoon fed to you, things like that. You know, VidIQ is amazing. I use VidIQ, so mm -hmm. that's one of my subscriptions. Yep. I use VidIQ and, and I use it on my days when I don't have a guest because I want to yeah. know, okay, let's see what's trending in AI today. Let's see what's trending in tech today. And I can come yeah. back and if, if I can talk about it, like if it's something that I know about, then I'll do uh -huh. an episode on it because I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I can talk about that because exactly. I'm using some tool, some aspect of whatever it is. And you know, the thing about vidIQ guys is you go in there and you put in your keywords. So yeah. if I go in there and put in local AI, local entrepreneur or local, mm -hmm. whatever women in business, it's going to tell, give me some ideas for the day. It's going to yeah. show me what's hot. It's going to, it's got a real, like really hot. It say something like very hot or something like yeah. that. Right. Yeah. Like very hot high, medium, low, very low. That's right. how it breaks it down. So it's a really powerful tool. And, you know, for me, I'm on all the platforms. Every platform I can get my brand on, I'm out there. Now, mm -hmm. can you talk about that a little bit? Because in Cast Magic, we were at PodFest. Um, I spoke at PodFest a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. and everybody was talking about Cast Magic. I was like, uh, I need another subscription. Uh, but everybody was talking about it. It's such a beast. Like um, you can literally use the power of the AI tool to give like a one sentence uh, outline and it'll give you an outline, your titles, your clips, your quotes, your hooks, your timestamps. It'll do all of those things for you. Um, it, your, it'll leverage your media library and everything like that. It's, it's just such a powerful tool that um people are going to sleep on if y'all don't i mean like you can just upload your audio it'll make uh it'll drain to show notes the all the descriptions that you need to upload to your podcast imagine the time you, you would spend to like make your podcast and then turn around write out your description and your show notes and the key points that would take days and to do so then when you're when you're crippled by only being able to do four shows because of all the technical stuff that you had to do, you can do 10, 15, 20 shows a week simply by using great tools like vidIQ to give you the ideas and what's hot and what's trendy, cast magic to write the descriptions, make everything uniformed and easy to publish just like that. Let me tell you something. I do 16 shows a month, right? Mm. And yeah. and I do so Monday through Thursday. I'm on here doing shows, but that that just that, that's not just video and, and right. audio. It's blogging. It's all of those things. So without all these great tools, there's no way I could do this. 
it Absolutely. would be too much because I've tried it. I've been doing podcasting since 2009. Mm. We had none of this. None, none of this, right. None of this. And so even when I started Good Morning Gwinnett in 2018, there was none of this. It was like audio, you know, trying to piece it together. You want to do some video with, with Skype and all this kind yep. of crazy stuff but that didn't work. So we didn't have all these amazing tools. But here's what's interesting, Nehemiah. Mm-hmm. Even with all of these tools out there, there's mm-hmm. still a huge gap between the amount of people that actually use them. Yeah. And and because I when they told us that number, it was something like two percent. I'm like, what? Yeah. I couldn't believe yeah. it. And let me tell you why, is because we can get ex- the tool is only as good as the person using it mm-hmm. and the information that you're putting into it. And a lot of people's like, oh, I got a new tool that will solve this problem for me. But then they get they get bogged down by the tech side of it, trying to figure it out themselves. Mm -hmm. That's why we have boot camps and cohorts that we put people in a room and we do it with you um, and walk you through the tools that you need and the necessary things that you need for your business. So it's important. The tool is only as good as the person using it. And it's only one piece of the equation, right? Just like you talked at the beginning of this conversation, the mindset is the number one thing, right? And you have to have the endurance to push through any of those anxious feelings about, oh my God, I don't have the right money. Oh my God, I don't have the right tool. Oh my gosh, I don't, I don't know how to, it's just like this brick wall is just holding you back with, with, with things that are making you feel like you can't get into the world of performance, but you get into the war, world of excuses, right? Yeah. So you have to decide which world you want to be in. Do you want to be on the world of performance or the world of the excuses? And you can't be the exception to the rule, right? So it's it's very important that you understand that the tool is only good as the 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 stuff that you put into it, and the endurance to um, to understand the product and actually utilize it in a way that's going to be beneficial for you and your business. You know what's crazy? We did the uh, Georgia AI Summit. We hosted that um, last month um, mm-hmm. in January. So I'm expecting, you know. I, I'm, I'm the head of a chamber. I, mm-hmm, I run it, mm-hmm. When I'm not doing the business, I'm running the chamber. Yeah. And I was expecting the women to be excited to come out. They didn't come out because mm. they said, I don't see how AI can help my business. Yeah. I'm like, and I couldn't, yeah. I didn't have time to explain to them why. Yeah. But I'm thinking, man, you can't see how the pe- first of all, heavy hitters in the room. Yeah. That was the first thing. We had a room mm-hmm. full of heavy, heavy. It's tech. Yeah. So you got a room full of tech startups who need accountants they need marketing people Mm -hmm. they need you know funding people they need customer service people they need it so yeah but people they saw the word ai and it was like yeah that's not for me right they get scared of it because it's so it's it's such a buzzword right but it's been around for years and years and years but the the buzzword is making it um so like oh i don't want to do that oh it's taking away jobs and and for me you have to embrace the technology, because especially if you're a small business owner and you're wearing all these hats, what if you had a chat bot that not only answered the phone calls for you, booked your appointments, that was handling your support 24 seven. So where your customer service went from like mm, 10% to like 80% improvement because you have someone, a bot that you train to think and act like your business that is handling your customer supports. So now your inbox is not full with all these emails and it's distracting you from getting more sales, more customers to work with the people you want to, but you had a bot that did that. Now, what if all those costs, instead of hiring while you're starting off, a human being to do that, you had a bot and a, 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 a mere package of tools that was like less than $500 versus someone that you would have to have their train, whether they're going to show up, whether they understand your business, whether they can think like you. Instead of having that overhead cost, you trained a bot to do those same types of functionalities while you're growing and scaling your business. Now you can enter the market 10 times faster and grow 10 times faster because you're using the power of AI. So it's it's one of those things that you have to embrace, knowing that if you're wanting to be an entrepreneur, a freelancer, a coach, a consultant, any of those things, a course creator, this is the most powerful time that you can be. And you're at the beginning of it. You're at the beginning of where this trend is going to happen and expand. So if you understand it now, just think about where you're going to be in the next couple of years. You know, I trained a, um, 
I trained, I call it my super bot. I get a lot of women who come to me and they want to start a business and a lot of them mm -hmm. are 50 and older, right? So yep. this is the time of your life where he's like, I'm just ready to mellow out. And I go, no, I want to start a business. You know, I've had this idea for like 25 years and, mm -hmm. you know, it's mm -hmm. time now. I'm like, okay. So I created a super bot called Coach uh -huh. Ed, right? I yep. said, okay. Go if you can get past Coach Ed, you can run a business. So I created this super bot called Coach Ed. So it's called GenXUniversity.com, mm -hmm. right? The I love first it. step on it is talk to Coach Ed first, right? Right. I can almost assure you that once they go past the first probably five minutes with Coach Ed, it's gonna be like, Yeah, if I gotta know do all of this stuff, mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. want to do that. And I trained her to ask questions like real questions that I know you need. Yeah. Do you have a support system when you jump out here in this entrepreneurial seat? Right. That's a biggie. Exactly. You know, exactly. What happens when the grandkids come over and you got to work? Exactly. That's huge. Exactly. I Absolutely. have a grandchild. And when she comes over, I have to say, wait a minute, G in a meeting. So now she's no G. Are you in a meeting? Right. What happens when you want to spend time with the family and you got to go somewhere else? These are real. These are the questions they need to be asked like right now, because you're at that stage in your life where you think thinking I'm going to retire or mm -hmm. I put in my time on the job. Now I want to do this thing. Is it a thing or are you trying to start a business? So I, I exactly. did this super bike called Coach Ed, right? Yeah. And this guy went through it. A guy went through it. He was like, I'm trying to start a cookie company. And I was mm -hmm. like, cool. Mm -hmm. He goes through it. He goes, oh, my God, Audrey, that was yeah. intense. Right. You know? But that that that's before you get to me. Like you don't have to get mm -hmm. to me. Go through Coach Ed first, and let Coach Ed help you determine whether or not you need to get to me. Yeah. So that's that's so cool. And then I so we, I started like Chatbot Engineer Academy, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. People really want to learn how to build chatbots and you know to leverage these tools and and really yeah. do this thing because when I did it, it was like okay, this is really cool. Yeah. But I put in all kinds of questions, like the questions that I have had to ask myself and things that I've learned over the last 27 years as an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. I put all of that stuff in there and it's amazing. Now, I know you guys have this done for you boot camp style thing. Talk mm -hmm. about that because I saw that and I was like, okay, that's really cool too. And I know yeah. a lot of people need to be hands-on, hold my hand, walk right. through the process. Talk about mm -hmm. that some. Yeah. And, and two things that we focus on is to develop entrepreneurs that stand out mm -hmm. and scale them up to make a positive impact in the world, because that's why you want to, to be an entrepreneur in the first place. And then we help people who have a high level of knowledge low levels of text or people who are have dealing with uh, operational side of the things that they just cannot figure out how to stitch everything together. Right. Mm -hmm. So those are the people that we focus on. Right. So our done with you program is designed to be like boot camp style. We take you through all the phases of understanding, like your design, your market message, create your persona kit, right? Craft your irresistible offer, like develop your lead magnet. What's going to attract people to you? And then how do you accelerate your positioning in the marketplace and then design your own program? What does your own framework look like? And then connect all the pe uh, pieces together using the power of AI, right? And one of those things that people stumble on is the tech side of things. So if you're still Stumbling on the tech side of things and understanding how to craft your message, it is very important that you do it with people that are going to be there, that's going to guide you and hold your hand. A lot of a lot of time people sign up for courses, but there's such a small percentage of people that actually finish the course and actually know what they're doing. It's actually about 5% of people actually finish a course if they're doing it on their own. But what we found when we do these boot camps and done with you, it's a it's a collaboration. It's people jumping in to say, oh, I learned this. It's the community part of it that's saying that's asking questions and saying, hey, how do you do this? And the community is jumping in and helping. That's the power of when you do a, a done with you program. And um, and the community is there to support you as well as our team is there to support you. I, I got to I got to say one thing real quick. Good morning, Cassandra Hill. Thank you for stopping by. Janine Biggins. Oh, my God, Janine. So I saw you pop up. Janine, I don't even know if Janine remember me. Like, she was a judge at an event I did in 2003 in New Jersey. Awesome. She was, and she said to me, this is, I'm never, ever going to forget this. This mm -hmm. was, I feel like crying right now because this is the best advice anybody has ever given me. She said, we did a pageant. Mm -hmm. I invented the first plus size fashion doll. We had a big, beautiful doll pageant. Yeah. Janine was one of the, the judges. Yeah. And we call ourselves doing everything we could to make sure the pageant went smoothly. Janine, I don't know if you remember, we were at the Crystal Ballroom in, in, in Newark, New Jersey. 
and you were the judge. And we did everything in our power to make sure that pageant went well, right? No matter what we did, Nehemiah, something uh-huh. would go wrong. The person that actually won the pageant, she uh-huh. was five nine, and she was a size fourteen. So you had to be a size fourteen and up. Wow. And the girl that I thought should have won was probably like five six, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. she was a size eighteen, and she yeah. had the best clothes, but she didn't win. And yeah. so when she didn't win, they said, "Oh my God, it was rigged." We had like a, one of the judges was the spinners from the spinners. One of the judges was Sonia Lane from Black Enterprise Magazine. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It was crazy. And Janine said to me because I cried, I cried like a baby, <laughs> and she said to me, she said, "Audrey." If you're going to be an entrepreneur, you got to grow some tough skin. Yeah, absolutely. Janine, I don't know if you remember that, but that's what you said to me. And it has taken me a lot of years to get that tough skin. But thank right. you so much for that. When I saw your name on Alicia's, inf- on, on think on Nehemiah stuff, I'm like, Janine Biggins? She said, you got to grow <laughs> tough skin. And you do, Nehemiah. Talk about yeah. that for a second, because I don't think people understand. Like, you can do all the things you can to be, like, the best entrepreneur you can, mm-hmm. the best business owner you can. But people will kick your back in at the slightest thing. Absolutely. That that's the most painful part of being an entrepreneur is number one, you have to I always use this quote, change your life, change your circles, right? And that is a powerful thing. When you're in a room with a bunch of entrepreneurs that think, act, and do like you, it's a lot different from going to your immediate circle of friends because a lot of times what I found out, those are not the ones that's going to support you. Right. It's the outside people that um, that actually are, are are going through the same journey that you're going through that you can rely on and actually um, collaborate with and work with. And those are going to be your biggest cheerleaders. And I had to learn that the hard way because I know me, you know, I want to support everything and anything with uh, the people that I surround myself with but they are not always your biggest cheerleaders. I found a lot of my biggest cheerleaders from the outside. And you're going to get naysayers. You're going to get people that hate, people that don't understand you, um, people don't understand your message, your your presence, your goals, your aspirations. They're just not going to get it. And then, so the hardest thing is that I had to learn, I had to learn is get past my fear of being worrying about other people's opinion on the journey that you take. Because if I'm here to serve and create real transformation in the lives of those that I serve, then that is my purpose. And I will own that purpose and no one can take that purpose away from me by the words that you say. I won't let someone's words dictate my purpose in life. So that's the important part. That's super important, y'all. I got to tell y'all this too. So I was scarred after that event. I was Mm. scarred for years. My mom used to say, you're not going to do the pageant again. We had, there was no standing room. You know how they say standing room only? Mm -hmm, There was mm -hmm. no standing room at that event. And my mom said, you're not going to, I never did another pageant after that. It was, I was so scarred. And it took me years to get to the point where I could just do an event. So yeah. because I was so scarred. So you have to, you know, surround yourself with those people. I didn't know right. I was so I was so new in entrepreneurship. And not only was I new in entrepreneurship, I was new in a space that I knew nothing right. about. Remember, I said yeah. earlier, I was an early adopter. Like I there was no plus size doll on the on the market. We created mm-hmm. that space. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And and we just jumped out there both feet in, 10 toes down, right. like we're gonna do this thing. And we did. And we yeah. did it in a great way, but I was scarred from that event. And so yeah. Surround yourself with people that's going to support you. Um, and I, and I, I second that because yeah. I went through something where I built an amazing product, amazing tool for a community that um, someone mis- misused it, you know. And so these are the things that you learn, right, when you're going through this journey of entrepreneurship and, and helping others. Like so you can build the, the most amazing thing, but if someone misuses the product or the solution, you can't help what people's reaction is. So what I had to learn was there's nothing I can do about your reaction to me. I can only keep serving those who want to be served. And that's why we touched so much on that target avatar. Who are the people you're here to serve? Who are the people that you're here to change their lives? Yes, absolutely. Listen, Janine, I feel like that should be the name of your next book. (laughs) It's not for punks. It is not. It is not. <laughs> it is not. Just let me tell you that. So when people talk about Audrey, I got this great idea. Go on over there and talk to Coach Ed at Gen X University first. Mm-hmm. Talk to her first, you know, go through this and then come back. Because yep, after yep. that, if you could go through that, then we can help you. Absolutely. Listen, this has been amazing. Thank you so much. How can people reach out to you and, and your team and everything you guys are doing over there at Start Lane Finish Big? 
Absolutely. That name is is what it's about. You can go to startleanfinishbig.com or you can go to slfb.co. You can find me. What we always suggest people to do is click on that first free business audit. We'll take a look at your business. You'll get on the phone with me. Um, we'll hang out for a little bit, see if we're a good fit, see if I can help you and serve you in your business and your needs. Um, you can also log in and take our free quiz to understand what type of entrepreneur are you? What is your entrepreneurial style? Sometimes it's just to know that, oh, I'm this style of person, so I know exactly who I'm working with and or who you're giving out to the world. So you can take our free quiz by going to startleanfinishbig.com or take our free business audit and we'll get on the call together and I'm here to serve you. Listen, take take them up on the on that offer. Go over there, take the quiz. It's on the website. The website is right here, Start Lean, Finish Big. Let me pop it up on YouTube, Start Lean, Finish Big. Start Lean, yeah. Finish Big. Go to the website, check it out, right? Check out what they're doing over there. Because here's the thing, y'all. We don't have a lot of time to keep wasting, especially if you're of a certain age. There's, You got more years behind you than you do in front yeah. of you. So don't waste the ones that you have in front of you, okay? Yep. Go to the website. Find out more about what they're doing over there and how Nehemiah his team can help you. And Janine, we do need to catch up. I will be in contact. So um, friend me on, on LinkedIn and we can we can connect. Um if you want to learn how to be a chatbot engineer, go to chatbotengineer.com and you chatbotengineeracademy.com and we'll show you how to do that. Me and Maya, thank you again for taking the time to share all of this great wisdom with all of my listeners and viewers all around the world. And uh, if there's anything you know you need from me, let me know because I'll be happy to support as well. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. And I appreciate you and your audience uh, to hear um, my mission and my purpose to help those grow their business and scale up and start lean and finish big. That's right. Start lean, finish big. Y'all heard it right here from the man himself, Nehemiah Thompson. Start lean, finish big. Stop wasting time. You don't have all that time like you think you got. Stop wasting it. Listen, we got to get busy. We got to get serious. We got to get moving. I thank you again. Listen, tune in tomorrow for another great episode of the Good Morning Gwinnett Show. I'll be here the same place, same time, 10 a.m. So be sure to tune in. If you missed any episodes of the show, go to goodmorninggwinnett.com. If you want a chance to win this robot, (laughs) y'all, listen. I'm giving one away every month, but you got to go join the newsletter. This is mine. This is mine. I'm going to buy you one if you are the winner. So go to goodmorninggwinnett.com. Sign up for Good Morning Gwinnett 411. Yeah, you don't have to live in Gwinnett to sign up. Just sign up for the newsletter. Anybody can sign up from the newsletter or from wherever you are. Sign up for the newsletter. Your name will be entered into a raffle at the end of each month, and I'm going to give away a robot because I need you to get comfortable with AI. It's not going anywhere. You heard Nehemiah say it's not going anywhere. Sam Altman, who is the CEO of ChatGPT in OpenAI, $7 trillion. Mm-hmm. Let that sink in for a second. That's what yep. they're working on right now, which lets me know for sure it's not going anywhere. So anyway, I'll be back again tomorrow at 10 a.m. same time. You guys stay safe out there. And if you're in Georgia, it's a rainy day in Georgia. Stay safe out there. Until next time, my friends. Until next time. Thank you, Nehemiah. Make it a great day. Bye, y'all. You've Bye. been watching or listening to the Good Morning Gwinnett Show, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney, Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. If you enjoyed this episode, subscribe to the show today and share it with your friends by going to www.goodmorninggwinnett.com.